Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community with videos on mental health, self-help and self-improvement. So if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed and you've turned the bell notification button on so you never miss a helpful video that could help you. Today's video is coming up right after this. Have you ever felt alone in a room full of people? Do you feel as if nobody truly understands you? Do you feel empty, lost, hopeless, or worthless? Does your anxiety stop you from doing things you want to do in your life? Are you depressed and don't know who to turn to for help or guidance? Are you currently struggling with your mental health? You never have to feel alone again. We understand you. We feel exactly like you do, and we are here to support you. Share your story, connect with like-minded people, learn more about mental illnesses and how you can improve your mental health. Together, we can make a difference, and together, we can reduce the stigma. Welcome to Authentic Mental Health. Are you highly aware of the emotions of others around you? Do crowds make you uncomfortable? Do the closest people around you describe you as sensitive? If so, you may be an empath. Empaths are often described as emotional sponges who absorb the world's emotions regardless if they are good, bad, or somewhere in between. The term empath comes from empathy, which is the ability to understand the experiences and feelings of others outside of your own perspective. Let's say your friend has unfortunately just had to put their pet down. Empathy is what allows you to understand the level of pain your friend is going through, even if you personally have never had a pet put down before. As an empath though, you take things a step further you actually feel and sense emotions as if they are a part of your own experience. Someone else's pain or happiness becomes your own pain or happiness. So how do you know if somebody is an empath? Here are five signs someone is an empath. Part one. Number one, you don't do well in crowded places. Empaths can absorb positive and negative energy by just being in somebody's presence. Crowded or busy places can be almost unbearable for empaths due to the many different energy levels and emotions of those around them. As a result of this, many empaths feel most comfortable on their own or in the company of a few people at a time. Number two, you have a high sensitivity to sounds, smells, or sensations. An empath's increased sensitivity doesn't just relate to emotions, it relates to sounds, smells, and sensations too, which means fragrances and odors may affect you more strongly. Certain sounds may trigger an emotional response. Jarring sounds and physical sensations may affect you more strongly, or you prefer to listen to things at low volumes, or get information by reading. Number three, you need time to recharge. Absorbing other people's emotions can be draining, so empaths may find themselves easily fatigued. Even positive feelings may exhaust an empath, so it's important for empaths to take the time they need to reset. Number four, you don't like conflict. Empaths dread and actively avoid conflict. As an empath, it's easier for someone to hurt your feelings, and you may take criticism more personally. Number five, you take on other people's emotions as your own. This is the classic number one trait of an empath. No matter what somebody else near you is feeling, even if they think they are not showing it, an empath is likely to pick up on it immediately. But more than that, an empath may actually feel that emotion as if it was their own, essentially absorbing it or sponging it up. Those are five signs someone is an empath, part one. Part two is coming 
next week. So make sure you're subscribed and you've turned the bell notification button on so you don't miss part two. I now want to hear from you guys and girls in the comment section down below. Do you consider yourself to be an empath? Can you relate to any of the five signs we have gone over together in this video? Let me and others know in the comment section down below. Make sure you're also following us on our other social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram to keep up to date with the community here at Authentic Mental Health. Our social media links are in the description box down below. Take care guys and girls and I'll see you all again in another video.